I found an interesting story, Chris. I know that you're going to love this. A Florida man stole something, tried to throw it on a roof, and got arrested for it. Now, of course, this would only happen in Florida. Uh, But have you seen the story? Have you seen what I'm talking about? No. Okay. This 32-year-old man was arrested early Thursday when Daytona Beach Shores police officer spotted him attempting to throw an alligator onto the roof of a cocktail lounge located just off of Highway A1A, according to the police report. Um, The officers saw the man take the alligator by the tail, hit it against the awning of the building, throw it to the ground, and stomp on it twice. He told the investigators that he was, quote, teaching the gator a lesson, and it was a, it was a little or a smaller alligator that he stole from a miniature golf course. He was trying to throw it on the roof of a beachside cocktail lounge. Is there any other state where you could see a guy, like if I had just told you the story and didn't tell you what state it was, is there any other state that you would believe that this happened in? No, well, I mean, no. I mean, it, it could happen in Louisiana, but yeah, I would assume Florida. At 100% Florida. Uh, the stomping on the alligator thing, that like that's ridiculous, but I'm curious, there's nothing else about teaching it a lesson. Like I'm teaching the gator a lesson. And it's from a mini golf course? I, I don't, I've been to several mini golf courses at the beaches in Florida. I've never been to one that's got an alligator. Like, have, have you, you've been Not down to Florida. One. Yeah, I've never seen a live one. But these things are just, you know, hanging out at, at whatever this thing is uh, near Daytona Beach. So this guy is from uh, Homestead, Florida. He was taken into custody, charged with possession and injury of an alligator, unarmed burglary, uh, burglary of an occupied dwelling, theft, and criminal mischief. Um, yeah, there, there's no attorney for the guy. He was representing himself, and he is still in jail as of this week. So <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to make of it. Uh, allig- like some alligators are endangered species, right? I have no idea. That would shock me. I don't think alligators are endangered. Maybe, maybe not. I'm just trying to figure out how I don't this think guy. There's a lot of different species of alligator. Like how how could this guy still be in jail? Like how? I'm quite certain his incarceration has less to do with the alligator and more to do with the substances running through his body. You might be, you might be right about that. There was nothing in here about that other than, I mean, it no, seemed like he was assumed. drunk. They said yeah. it was Homestead, Florida. That's uh, yeah. all right. Yeah. The guy's like all hopped up on bath salts. Sure. <laughs> that's just, this Pick, is part of it. Picking up an alligator by the tail and trying to throw it on the roof of a cocktail lounge. Nobody does that s- sober, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has ever done that sober. No, you're 100 percent right. I don't know that anybody's tried to do that, even even hammered drunk. Like, I need to I need to see this alligator. If it's like the size of his forearm, then somebody needs to kick this guy's ass. But if it's like a baby alligator, but still like the size, yeah, like of pretty your big, leg, then then now now I'm a little impressed. Yeah, I wish that they had like it, had tossed in some pictures here because I like, hadn't been able like, to find I mean, much. I've seen some tiny alligator, and if it's a tiny alligator. Come on, man. Like, that's just, that's mean. Like, like that's well, just, it's not even that it's mean, but, like, it's not a story. Like, this guy's just an asshole. Yeah. Like, you're using the word alligator to get clicks and to get attention, but everybody knows, like, this ain't no alligator. It's like a baby. Like, that's, right? a, that's a baby alligator, not a, yeah, I mean, it did say it's a smaller alligator, but. But that, that's a very relative term. Right? Yeah. The alligator from Lake Placid was gigantic. Okay. So, is it smaller than that? That's a smaller alligator. Now you you are correct about that. Uh, the size of my shoe, or is it the size <laughs> of my leg? Those are different units of measurement. I need something to quantify how big this small alligator is. Let's see. It took the alligator by its tail, hit it against the awning of the building, threw it to the ground, stomped on it twice. So, and I mean, the alligator's alive. Like it survived. Well, yeah, it's an alligator, Gary. Jesus, it's not it's a, a bug. Like, it's like a damn dinosaur. So, I mean, the stomping thing is is serious, man. That's serious stuff. God, teaching it a lesson. I don't know what the hell that's all about. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, 
at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.